Hey guys, it's Zoe and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing amazing. Today I'm going to be showing you how I installed this super cute 18 inch curly wig from Wiggins Hair. Spoiler alert, I am obsessed with this wig. It just looks so natural and I just love how this look came out. I'm going to show you guys the ins and outs and the specs of this wig and all the customization that I did to it. But yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, make sure you keep on watching and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so quickly switching to voice over Zoe. As I said at the start, this hair is from Wiggins Hair. They're one of my top, top, top favorite hair companies to start off with anyway. So I was very excited to try out this wig. I was expecting great things. This is the unboxing. It didn't come with much in the box, just a pair of lashes, a little storage bag for your wig. It also came with a wig cap and a little melt band, which I always love to receive. So the specs for this wig, I got a 13 by 4, 18 inch HD lace and 250% density wig that is a mouthful wow so i'm just unwrapping the hair and this is how it's looking um the minute i took it out of the packaging i left this little white foam band on because i really needed you guys to see how tiny 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 the knots on this lace was it even looks like it's almost pre-plucked which i'm assuming it is so yeah i was super super happy with how this was looking the lace being hd lace was super thin and the quality was definitely definitely shining through guys let's get into the texture of this hair it is a deep curly i think a deep wave um i'll have it down in the description below but it is one of the kinkier textures you can get it is definitely a little bit more high maintenance because it is a little more textured but I just love it because it looks so natural, especially on me, which is why I decided to go for this texture. Here is another look at how thin the lace is, guys. I just put it on the back of my hand so you can really conceptualize how thin it is. Like, I can't put it into words. Wiggins always do a really good job with their lace. Here, I'm just brushing through the curls because I wanted to see how easily my fingers run through the hair and if I experienced any shedding. Um, just a side note, as I always say, curly hair sheds a lot more than normal straight hair especially if it is of a higher density so here's just me showing how much hair fell out whilst I was combing through it um it wasn't anything crazy and this is sort of a normal amount um I'd expect from curly hair like this I put the wig on the mannequin head again so you can get into how nicely the wig is pre-plucked and so that you guys can see how it looks straight out of the pack I decided to go ahead and bleach the knots to do this I use my Jerome Russell Forty developer and powder bleach this is what i always use to bleach my knots and it gets the job done perfectly i just put a satchet of the powder and a third of the bottle of the developer and mix it till it was about a toothpaste consistency i then spread it on with my plastic knife onto the lace and let this sit for about 35 minutes i believe the knots process very quickly and very evenly which i was very happy about you do just want to make sure you keep an eye on your knots especially if it's warmer you are at the moment i washed and conditioned the hair like i normally would and this is how the texture looked once i let it air dry and here is a little close-up of the knots as well moving on to the next part which is plucking the wig i went ahead and secured the wig on my mannequin head as you can see i'm doing here here again you can see how nicely the knots bleach there are no black knots anymore and it even looks like i've already plucked this guys i promise you i did not touch this wig apart from the bleach it looks so nicely plucked and it processed so beautifully there is no exaggeration when i say it took me five minutes to pluck this wig guys this is still unplucked let me just add all i've done is slick the hair back with some water and that is it here is me starting to pluck the wig a little bit but i was so scared that i was going to over pluck this wig i barely barely touched the hairline and this is just every hair person's dream like not having to pluck the lace or the hairline as much as you normally would so yeah that is literally all i did guys then i grabbed my wax stick and my medium hold hairspray and just applied this to the front of the hairline and use my hot comb to just slick everything back as flat as possible. I always do this before I install the wigs just because it allows me to apply everything a lot more seamlessly. It gets rid of any flyaways and it also allows me to see my work once I finish plucking and bleaching everything. This is the final result after doing what I needed to do. As you can see, it definitely looks a lot more plucked than it did at the start. 
but the difference isn't as drastic as it normally would be with other wigs so i'm super super happy with how this hair took onto the prep here is another look at how the hair texture looks when it's air dried um but yeah guys i'm gonna hand you over to in person zoe so we can focus on the install okay guys so now that i've done all the prep for this wig it's time to install this beauty i'm like so excited to see how this is gonna look because i've never had short curly hair like i know it's still 18 inch but like obviously because it's curly it's gonna be mad short so as always i take these little back clips here and attach them together to make the wig nice and snug and i'm now gonna go ahead and tint my lace to tint my lace i'm using my born this way foundation in the shade spice drum and a dense kabuki brush and i'm just gonna tint my lace with it once the lace is tinted, it should look something like this. As you can see, there's a nice blend. It matches my skin and my forehead now. One sec, guys, my dog needs to leave my room. Guys, this is so cute. Don't... Oh. Please. and when we define the colors this is gonna be our whole look i can't express to you how much hair there is on my head right now though like look even from the back like when these sides are to the front there's so much hair still at the back i don't even know how to act right now like anyway let me focus let me bring you guys in for a close-up of this lace because this is insane lace hasn't even been cut or melted yet and it's already blending into my skin so nicely so i'm just gonna quickly hot comb any extra hairs that i'm seeing like wisp out of the front um because i just want to make sure that everything is slicked all the way back so that when it comes to gluing down on cutting the lace and all that good stuff um there's no hairs in the waist now that that's done i'm just grabbing my two little clippy thingy mid bobs and i'm just gonna clip the front sections of my hair out of my face this is a real trust the process moment because what the hell is this um to start things off i'm just gonna cut off the extra lace on either side of the ears because as you can see it does go past my ears and now as you can see it perfectly hugs the shape of my ears just a little tip by the way don't throw these pieces away i've started to keep them because if you have a big forehead like mine i like to keep these for when i have my natural hair out and want to do like slip back styles keep these cut them small and like use them as like fake baby hairs like i've seen people do that on tiktok and i was like and they buy them in packs like fake baby hairs but you can literally just use this bit and you've got the cutest little baby hairs faux baby hairs so i'm gonna keep these now that that's done i'm gonna go ahead and cut little slits into the wig so that i can glue each section down as appropriate as you know what i mean just gonna cut these pieces off for my glue today as always when do i not use it i'm using the better than melt wig glue by her by kelly i have this linked down below but this is literally the only glue i use i wore this on holiday when it was like 40 degrees outside it did end up slipping back a little bit but you know i had to just quickly fix it and go over the top and i was good but i really like this glue and i actually need to buy more because look it's kind of running out um but i'm taking an old eyelash tray and just squeezing out what i've got left of this i'm literally gonna speed through the gluing part because it's so boring but literally all i'm doing is each section that i've cut i'm gonna work on one section at a time and i'm gonna go ahead and apply about let's say three layers of glue on each section um and wait for each section to dry completely clear before moving on to the next one and that is basically how i glue the whole entirety of my head just make sure that the glue is completely clear before you move on to the next layer just pausing real quick um because the sides of my head tend to lift really really quickly i'm grabbing my got to be glued hairspray and i'm literally just spraying the tiny tiny weeniest amount just wherever it tends to lift the fastest because bro i cannot be dealing with lifting lace not today I apply this very carefully because it tends to go white so if you have like the ebon lace spray use that that's way better um but this it defo defo turns white and gives a white cast now i'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same thing to the sides of my head 
and I'll be back in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and grab not one but two melting bands. So I always like to use two and give myself a headache and wrap my hair as tightly as I humanly can. Um, if your head isn't throbbing and your ears are not paining you then you're not doing it right. I'm gonna leave them on for about 10-15 minutes and move on to the next step. So I want to bring out the texture of this hair as much as I possibly can. I like to really like go in with, with the styling because I want this to look 10 out of 10 and this has no product in this is just water and I just brushed it through but obviously because of the plucking and all the extra work we did it is a bit puffy at the top so what I'm gonna do is just section the hair in half I'm grabbing my little spray bottle from Amazon this was like 10 pounds a bit expensive for a spray bottle I think but so worth it because it really gets all the hair as wet as possible um, and I'm just gonna start spraying this hair down guys like I'm literally spraying it down I just want to get rid of all this puffiness I'm really gonna focus on the sections that have really puffed and frizzed out um, the bottoms sort of okay um, but yeah that is step number one what I will say that I'm loving about this hair is because it's shorter it's so much easier and quicker to wet and like style in general um because normally when i do curly wigs they're like 30 inches and it just takes so much time and water but this is like the perfect length like that literally took me like 20 seconds to wet and it's just so soft i just want to sleep on this hair i would use this hair as my cushion for bed honestly that's how soft it is now that the hair is completely wet i'm gonna take my shea moisture strengthening and restore leave-in conditioner this is the only product that i use for my curly wigs i don't use any like mousse or anything in my curly hair because i like them to be fluffier in texture if you want a more wet look definitely use mousse but i like my hair to have some body and movement so i use this maybe with a little bit of hair gel just to run through my hair and when i'm doing this i'm using a very very generous amount guys i really want to saturate this hair and get it as hydrated and moisturize as I possibly can. Once I've got that saturated in the hair, I'm grabbing my hairbrush and I'm just gonna start brushing through this hair, making sure each and every strand is coated in that leave-in conditioner. This is what's gonna create that bounce in the curl and really form everything together. As you can see, it's already, do you see that it's springing all together and like clumping together, which is exactly the look I want. But yeah, I'm just going to repeat the same thing to this side, really brushing all that product through, raking it through and scrunch it together if you want as well. Once I finished this part of my hair, I'm now going to grab a hair oil, OGX coconut oil hair oil and I can't even open it. But I'm just going to open this and really saturate the hair. And this almost gives you a wet look and just makes the curls look so shiny and pretty. And that is how I style my curly hair, guys. I'm now gonna repeat the exact same thing on this section and I'll be back when the whole head is done. Once that's done, it should look something like this. I'm just gonna remove the two lace bands I've had because it's definitely due time. My head is throbbing and I'm ready to get these things off my head. This is how the lace is looking. That melting band technique definitely melts the lace so, so much nicer. The HD lace is defo HD in guys. This lace is skinny. To cut my lace, as always, I'm using my eyebrow razor. Mine is very crusty and dusty. I need to buy a new pack from Amazon, but it just creates the perfect jagged edge when you are cutting your lace and it gives you the most natural finish as well. Um, I don't like using scissors or those, you know, the zigzag scissors because it creates a very uniform and neat hairline. And when you're cutting lace, you want it to be as invisible as possible and the human eye naturally tends to pick up on like patterns anyway. So that's why I prefer to use an eyebrow razor because it just, it just melts and blends a lot nicer. So I'm going to cut the lace off section by section. If you've made it up to here, you can choose to skip your baby hairs. You guys know I love a good baby hair moment, um, especially, especially with curly hair. Maybe let's decide on a parting first, hold on. I think we definitely need to do a flipped over side part. I don't know, guys. Okay, so I, sorry for that little blip. I was trying to figure out what part to go for. I'm just gonna keep it in the middle for now, just while it dries um, so that it's gonna be easier for me to flip around. Yeah, I've just parted it in the middle and I guess it gives you guys a little look on what it would look like in a middle part as well. We are gonna move on to crafting some baby hairs. I'm grabbing my rat tail comb and sectioning, sectioning 
off where I want my baby hairs. Grab it from there and just bring it down to the end of my brow. And then just brush the rest back. And I'm just gonna twist this section out of the way and I'm just gonna repeat the exact same thing on the rest of my hair. So I'm grabbing my eyebrow razor again. Maybe my scissors actually. I've noticed whenever I'm working with HD lace, it tends to pluck the hairs out very, very easily. So when I'm using this, it creates more tension and ends up pulling some of the hairs out. So I'm gonna use my scissors instead to play it safe. But when I'm using my scissors, I'm gonna really create a jagged cut. I don't want it to look too sharp and too perfect. It's almost as if you're cutting layers basically. So I'm just gonna start with the sideburn and as you can see, I'm just very roughly chopping that bit off once i've got that cut i'm grabbing my preheated mini hair straighteners and i'm just gonna curl each baby hair towards my face so inwards just make sure you don't burn your face guys because i've had a lot of accidents with these hair straighteners and my hot comb but yeah just be careful and curl inwards towards your face as you can see it creates the cutest little baby curl i'm now gonna do the exact same things to these front pieces here creating a very jagged edge very rough looking baby hair if that makes sense rough looking cut um shorter at the start and longer towards the ends curling inwards of my baby hair straighteners and yeah i'm grabbing a medium hold hairspray i use this one from wella i don't actually know what it is i just got sent it a very very long time ago and it's just been lasting a long time just any medium hold hairspray don't use the got to be hairspray because it's going to make your baby hairs very crunchy um so i use this spray on my edge brush and just start sweeping the baby hairs in place you can do your baby hairs however you like them i just sort of play around until i'm happy with the shape they're in and the style they're in and i literally just move it around and like do whatever but yeah okay so i forgot to film it but i quickly i finished my baby hairs and i've quickly gone ahead and tied them down again just because they were like trying to escape and fly away i don't know what they were trying to do but yeah i'm gonna leave this on for like three minutes or so not a long time i just want to like press everything down as far as possible i'm just gonna flatten this parting a little bit using my wax stick that you guys saw earlier just so it's a little bit more sleek okay and now i'm going to take off my lace band wow guys let me give you a little close-up on what the lace looks like because i just i can't deal with this like, are you guys seeing this? I've let the hair dry a little bit longer and I am so in love with how it's looking right now. It's gonna dry even more and become even more voluminous, which is the beauty about this hair. Like, and I just love how bouncy and fluffy the curls are. Like, are you seeing this movement, guys? Stiff wear. But yeah, I definitely don't know how to act. Um, I'm literally going out on Saturday and I think I'm gonna wear this hair guys and like style it in a really cute way like I just love it I love it I love it and especially in the middle part I'm usually not a middle part girl when it comes to my curly wigs but this is like it just makes sense like this this is making sense to me right now I just love a fresh install guys like it's HD like it's nobody's business like I'm about to sit here and make some super cute TikToks and take some pictures of myself with this hair because i don't know how to act guys i'm gonna insert some videos here at the end with the hair on the side part as well so you can see what it looks like say i'd give this give wig it a 8.5 to 9 out of 10 um incredibly soft incredibly silky voluminous lots of body the texture is beautiful and it's true to the website the um, lace is very very thin it had tiny knots it bleached beautifully i think my only complaint about this wig is probably just the fact that it shed a little more than i'm used to with curly wigs but i do think that is because of how dense and how much hair is on this wig so I'm giving it a 9. I'm going to see how it wears in the next few days. But honestly, I'm just so in love with this wig, guys. Like, I'm going to start telling people this is my real hair. Like, And that is the final look. This is the hair in a side part in. And I think this is my favourite style. I just feel like, I just love a side part. I feel like they look so effortless. But I'm obsessed with this hair. If you're interested in buying this wig, I've got all the links and information down in the description box. So make sure you check that out. I hope you enjoyed and loved this video. Make sure you give me a like, comment, subscribe. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.